how are you all doing i hope you're all fine welcome back to my channel thank you so much for returning back here if you are a returning subscriber may god bless you i really appreciate much for your love and support but if it's your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so my lovely friends i've been getting these questions here on youtube on the comment section and some of you send me the dms on instagram at african bella especially from single ladies so some of these questions are bella i am a divorced woman can i still find love on online dating apps will i find any man who will love me truly provided that i am divorced Provided that I was married before, Bella, I am a widow. Will I still find the one on online dating apps? Really, Bella? Is it possible? <laughs> or some of you ask me, Bella, I am a single mother. I don't know if I'll be able to find the one. I've been facing lots of challenges on online dating apps. Some men even abandoned me after hearing that I am a single mother or after hearing that I was married before or oh, after hearing that i am a widow <laughs> so i don't know if i fit in that category i don't know if i should still continue to search for the one bella please advise me <laughs> so dear friends i am going to be answering all these questions and that takes us to our today's video our today's video is going to be a story time of a nigerian lady divorced at 21 but right now she is 23 years old who found love on online dating apps with a swedish guy after trying to search for true love for quite some time tells us five months and then after those five months with lots of challenges she was able to find the right guy so guys her name is zara and another thing you guys need to know is that zara is my own baby i'm so excited <laughs> yeah and how is she my baby it's because when the right guy started writing to zara on online dating apps Zara wasn't sure if the guy is the one. So came to me and was like, Bella, I need your guidance. I need to know if this guy is the one or not. And if he is the one, how should I go about it? <laughs> so I guided Zara from the start till when she got married and i'm so thankful to god that it was a success story <laughs> so dear beautiful friends before i jump into today's video i have something like a disclaimer or like an advice to you my beautiful ladies i'm asking you all to stick to your original plan even after finishing watching this beautiful unique because i've never done a story like this do not change your original plan please please but what you need to do is to utilize the tips that helped zara to find the one is to utilize the tips that zara used to get married so these tips will help you so much on your search whether you are searching for love on online dating apps you're searching for love maybe on instagram you're searching for love maybe on facebook you are searching for love on bella's match making because i told you guys to put yourselves out there so that you can find the one so by watching this video because every love story we have got something to learn from you are going to be helped very very much so for those who have been following me here on youtube you already know what is an original plan yes but if you're new here it's your first time to be here on my channel and you wonder what is an original plan an original plan is the plan that a lady has before even joining online dating apps about the guy that she wants to date or the guy that she wants to get married to so some ladies prefer interracial dating they go on online dating apps 
to search for a white guy of course a good serious or genuine white guy but some other ladies they join online dating apps and their original plan is to find a black man to get married to because not every woman that joins on online dating apps is looking for an interracial dating or is looking for a white guy no not all and some other ladies before joining on online dating apps their original plan is to find true love whether you are white whether you are black whether you are yellow <laughs> they don't care what matters to them is to find true love that is their original plan so that is why i told you stick to your original plan because that's what you want and that's what will make you happy so friends without wasting much of your time let us jump into this beautiful unique online dating success love story of our beautiful zara so dear friends when i started this video i told you that zara was divorced before joining online dating apps this takes us to know a bit of zara's life background and her love life in the past her past love relationship experience we need to dig a little bit deeper let's find out why was Zara divorced at 21? It's kind of a sad story, but you know, we need to understand this story very well. Get close to Zara. It connected to Zara. So Zara tells us was born and raised in Nigeria and she's so blessed that her parents took her to school. So she is a teacher by profession. So dear friends, to Zara's past love life. Zara tells us at the age of 21 was so lucky to find the right guy. This guy was Nigerian. They were crazily in love with each other. The guy loved her so much and Zara too. They dated for a short period of time and cause they were all in love with each other what followed was getting married things got serious and yes guys zara got married to that nigerian guy the guy was in his 30s so after zara getting married all was going very very good but later on she came to discover that the husband is so influenced by the mother and even from the start of the relationship the guy's mother never liked zara so as time kept on going it became a very serious problem because this mother-in-law started causing fights between zara and the husband so guys zara kept on tolerating everything that was happening in her marriage because wanted to protect her marriage, wanted to keep her marriage, never wanted to let it go because was very scared of the society, what they're going to say about her when she gets divorced. So she was suffering, but was like, no, I am going to hold on onto my marriage. But things kept on happening, guys. One time Zara got very, very sick and the mother-in-law found out, called the son and told the son not to take Zara to the hospital. And that's what the guy did. Never took Zara to the hospital. Zara's situation was really critical. The parents intervened and took Zara to the hospital. Tells us that mother-in-law never even called to ask her, how are you doing? So after Zara returning back from the hospital, it's not that things cooled down, no. Things never cooled down. The guy kept on treating her very, very bad, was following whatever the mother was instructing him to do to Zara, treating her bad, treat her like trash so things reached here zara couldn't take it anymore and asked for a divorce dear sisters do you remember what i advised you about mama's boys they are very very dangerous guys because a guy who cannot stand by his own decisions is expecting the mother to be the one to tell how to run his marriage that is very very bad yes 
it's okay for a guy to love his mother because she is the one that brought him into this world you will never be able to take her place no matter how much he loves you but if this guy loves his mother to an extent he forgets he has got a wife that is very very bad i'm telling you they are dangerous because you will start a relationship with a mama's boy if you ignore my advice and later on that marriage will end yes and who will end that marriage that same same mother the problem with these mama's boys they are so connected to their mothers that their mothers have a full control over them so if this guy gets married the mother gets worried because she is losing control over the son it becomes very very hard for them to let go of their sons and that's why in most cases they come in between it's very very sad but that's the reality guys so dear sisters if you're dating a guy let it be on online dating apps let it be in real life don't get carried away by love watch the red flags get to find out yes that guy loves his mother but to what extent <laughs> is he an independent guy is he mentally mature <laughs> because <laughs> these guys that are mama's boys they are mentally immature so once you get to find out this guy is mentally immature is a mama's boy the mother has got a full control over him they have got even a joint bank account <laughs> girl if you ignore the red flags and get married to that guy they are going to join forces <laughs> <laughs> and fight against you until you go out of that guy's life so let's be careful <laughs> so friends eventually zara got her divorce it was so easy for her to get the divorce because you know that guy never even cared about that marriage <laughs> if the mother says divorce her of course <laughs> He divorces her immediately so she got her divorce but her worst fear came into a reality because the society started talking bad about her bad mouthing her saying that it's her fault that's why that marriage failed zara went into a depression due to what people were talking about her and she completely gave up on life gave up on herself poor zara like i said if you are divorced in africa especially in rural areas <laughs> whereby everyone knows everyone's business <laughs> yeah then you are a bad woman they're going to invent all sorts of bad things about you and it's gonna be so difficult for you to be able to find love again they badmouth you to an extent you can't go out because when you go out everyone is looking at you everyone is talking about you and even some of the people that you trusted before they are the one that will be talking shit about you so it is a very very complicated situation to find yourself in but what i'm advising you dear sisters whether you are in africa or wherever part of the world you are never accept to stay in a toxic relationship never accept to stay in a toxic marriage i'm telling you guys because those people that you're scared about their opinion they are not the one living the life you are living. They are not the one that are suffering. And if you are 25 and above, <laughs> single and searching, do not worry. Don't feel pressured by the society. Don't feel pressured by the family because <laughs> you are the one that knows why you are single the struggles that you have been through dating men men cheating on you men using you and dumping you just like that for no reason it's you that knows the truth so better ignore everyone's opinion and think about yourself first because i told you self-love is very very important Peace of mind is so, so important. Don't stay in a toxic relationship just because you want to impress people. You know what you're doing in your life. You have got your own plans. Work on them. Stick on them. Because when you succeed, same, same people will come and start congratulating you. So she remained single for eight months. 
tells us gave up completely on love and wasn't ready to date in real life that confidence she didn't have it so guys after eight months of being single zara tells us came her longtime friend to visit her and then zara told her everything her disappointments in love and how she was not ready to date any guy in real life like physically due to how people are talking bad about her concerning her divorce so this friend suggested that zara should join online dating apps and recommended to her two online dating apps the first dating app that that friend recommended to her was afro introductions my nigerian sisters you know that afro introductions in nigeria works really really good and the second dating app i'm going to be mentioning it to you before i end this love story so at the time this longtime friend recommended to zara about those two online dating apps it was 2021 april and what zara did decided to download those dating apps and start searching zara's original plan was to find true love never wanted to find a black guy or a white guy for her color did not matter so dear friends zara was really really excited to find that right guy and started chatting with guys from different countries if you are curious to know if zara paid on those dating apps no zara did not pay any money on those dating apps because as you know on Afro introductions you can chat with men for free even that dating app she was chatting for free on a free version was chatting with guys paying on that dating app and as you all know when you first join on online dating apps of course you get lots of messages from different guys you are new everyone wants to send you a message even if they are not serious <laughs> <laughs> they just want to chat with that new girl in that dating site so that is what happened to zara could chat with guys and <laughs> could be very very positive about those guys but after two or three days <laughs> and leave her like that in tanzania they say <laughs> they just leave you without telling you what really happened but zara did not give up kept on searching because she had very few time on those dating apps so kept on searching until came this pakistan guy but this guy was living in bahrain so all was good with this pakistan guy and he seemed serious even started talking of getting married to zara told her i will come to nigeria and get married to you zara was over the moon you know what guys when you are new or when you don't have any experience on online dating apps these guys can play games on you these guys can make you have those sweet dreams <laughs> but after staying for so long and you know you see things not moving you start getting nightmares <laughs> the dream turns into nightmares because <laughs> when a guy starts playing with you they even manipulate you some of you do online sex which i've been saying don't do it up to now guys i get dms like bella i'm chatting with this guy but he wants to see me naked bella i'm chatting with this guy all the time this guy is talking about having the goodies <laughs> and is telling me that he's there imagining you know on the bed having the goodies with me <laughs> is he serious bella like seriously <laughs> how can you even think a guy like that will be serious he will never ever be serious at all but again i want to take this opportunity to tell you something when i shared paxa's story there is one thing i forgot to tell you when i was talking to paxa she was like bella but you know what that nigerian guy the scammer never ever asked me for nude photos i was like paxa the guy was not interested in nude photos <laughs> the guy was interested in money your money <laughs> he didn't care at all seeing you naked because his original plan was getting money from you but if you're chatting with a guy and his original plan 
is seeing you naked or have that erotic chat with you will follow that direction of goodies 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 <laughs> so you show the guy your goodies or you take photos you know of your goodies sent to the guy and you're there like he's my husband <laughs> my boyfriend <laughs> And then he ghosts you or you send him messages. You see him online. He does not respond. You have sent your goodies. You start getting nightmares. <laughs> so Zara never sent any photos of her goodies, but the stories that these guys could tell her could make her have those sweet dreams in the beginning. <laughs> So the Pakistan guy's stories could give Zara sweet dreams when she could go to bed, but started seeing some red flags. Cause whenever they could be on a video call with that Pakistan guy, and then the brother steps into the room, the guy could tell her, keep quiet, don't talk. <laughs> So at first Zara followed, you know, the instructions of not talking because the brother stepped into the room while them talking. And the next time again and again and again, then Zara came across my videos on YouTube, me telling you that when you are chatting with a guy, he should be free. He shouldn't tell you I am shy. You know, my friends are gonna see me talking to you. He shouldn't tell you I am shy. My brother is gonna see me talking to you on a video call, will ask me lots of questions. No, he is going to be free with you. <laughs> so if a guy is telling you, keep quiet, don't talk. You know, my mother entered in a room. My brother stepped into the room. My sister stepped into the room. <laughs> You know that the guy is hiding something from you and it is very very possible that Pakistan guy wasn't even married but I told you these people have got their own cultures and traditions. It is almost impossible to find a Pakistan guy married to a black woman. It is almost impossible. Maybe that guy might really want to marry you, but due to the family influence, because the family's opinion matters fast <laughs> before anything. So if the family says no to marry a black woman, don't think that Pakistan guy is going to marry you. And he is even talking to you he knows it won't happen. He's just fantasizing. Some guys go to an extent of having babies with you. <laughs> They're just fantasizing about it. You know, having babies with you, going shopping with you, <laughs> making love to you. All those are fantasies. They will never happen in real life. So Zara, after coming through my YouTube videos, me advising you, came into her senses that that Pakistan guy is only wasting her time and ended the relationship immediately. So dear friends, Zara kept on struggling on online dating apps to find the right guy. Kept on chatting with different guys because they were sending her messages and one time came across a German guy. This guy's name is Kaffi. So all was good with Kaffi like how they are <laughs> at first all was really really good kafi sounded like a husband material <laughs> and zara's like oh finally <laughs> i'm going to go out of these dating apps because i have found the one so they started talking and getting deep into the conversation that is when kafi told zara that you know what I want to marry two wives and when I get married to those two wives we are going to be sleeping on the same bed having goodies together <laughs> Zara's like what's this and immediately ended the relationship with Kafi continued searching and at that time she was on online dating apps for five months so in august zara kept on you know also browsing through men's profiles i've been telling you dear beautiful ladies don't wait to be found keep browsing through men's profiles some of you be like i have browsed through all men on online dating apps every day every minute 
joins a new man on online dating apps. So keep browsing, girl. <laughs> yeah. So Zara kept on browsing through men's profiles and one day came across a profile of a Swedish guy. But this guy was black and his origin was Nigeria. But he was born and raised in Sweden. And remember guys, Zara was searching for true love. That is why she could go through all profiles of men of all colors. And before I continue guys, recently Paxa's story, we remember the guy who scammed her was from Nigeria. And as I was doing the premiere, someone was like, all Nigerian guys are like that. I was like, no, not all Nigerian guys are bad. Actually exist good Nigerian guys that are husband material. And guys, Ahmed is a true example of a serious, good Nigerian guy, though he is a Swedish guy, <laughs> Swedish Nigerian. Let's call him this way. <laughs> so to you all ladies that are searching for true love, not a white guy, not a black guy, not a yellow guy, <laughs> but true love, when you are on online dating apps, then you come across a profile of a black guy, maybe living abroad, Please remember the video that I did and I told you if you are going to date a guy who is black but living abroad, let's say living in America, living in Europe, Australia, Canada, Sweden, Switzerland, Italy, then there are some things you need to really look out for. Those red flags. Because if this video inspires you and then you start, you know, <laughs> and then you start writing messages, black guys that are maybe abroad, if you're not careful, you are going to fall into a trap. <laughs> but keep watching this video so that you can differentiate if you find a Nigerian guy on online dating apps and maybe living abroad, what are the things you need to look into to know if that guy is serious or not, or he is a scammer, <laughs> or he is a player. So after coming across that profile of Ahmed, <laughs> the Swedish Nigerian guy, she really liked his profile. He is a cute, cute guy in his 40s, early 40s. Actually, he is 41. So Zara decided to send that first message to Ahmed. <laughs> and what happened after that? So after Zara sending that first message to Ahmed, Ahmed stayed for a long period of time without responding to her. <laughs> and one day, Ahmed decided to go through Zara's profile. And as he was going through her photos on online dating apps, found out that all the photos that Zara had on her profile, she was not smiling. So Ahmed was like, what is going on in this lady's life? Why is that she looks so sad? She is not smiling. So out of curiosity, decided to respond to her and get to know her, you know? <laughs> A bit of her life, you know, what is going on? <laughs> that is number one. <laughs> So they started chatting, but their chats were very, very normal. Because remember, guys, Ahmed wrote to her out of curiosity, wanted to know her life. <laughs> yeah, and as they kept on chatting, you know, they became really very, very close, but close friends. And Zara tells us one day Ahmed was telling her about past love relationship experience and Zara got so emotional as Ahmed kept on talking was like Zara I really wish <laughs> you were more older because for me you are a baby you're very very young to me I can't date you <laughs> and Zara tells us she didn't know what came into her decided to tell Ahmed I love you <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god the courage of this girl <laughs> but if you want something you go for it but don't go and start telling any guy a guy that you don't see any connection a guy that is talking about the goodies a guy that is talking about investments and start telling him i love you <laughs> You would have opened the doors to a wrong person into your life that will give you nightmares. <laughs> Later, yeah, so after Ahmed hearing Zara telling him that I love you, he kept quiet a minute and then said, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> so that means maybe this guy was interested by the same time you know scared her age but because zara showed that it is okay you can date me by telling him i love you that is why he got a push to tell zara i love you too <laughs> i hope you get a point here like last time i was telling you when i shared mary's story that some guys are very shy to approach a lady some guys are even shy to say i love you but everything that are going to be showing you you know even the actions will tell you the guy loves you there you can take a risk <laughs> <laughs> to tell a guy I love you <laughs> yeah you give him like a push to see what will happen after you saying I love you so when Ahmed said I love you oh my god their conversation got so hot and the next day Ahmed asked Zara to be his girlfriend oh my god she was very very happy and they officially started dating so guys they kept on chatting calling each other on a video call every single day because when you are in a long distance relationship communication is very very important you have to talk like you guys live together updating each other on what you're doing every day that will help to bring you so close so they continued doing that and it really worked so good to bring them more closer after two months of dating ahmed introduced zara to his family but through a video call because Ahmed's mother lives in California America Ahmed lives in Sweden so after talking to them on a video call a three-way video call Ahmed shared his mother's whatsapp numbers with Zara and whatsapp number sister all of these numbers gave them to Zara told Zara once in a while please call them greet them and i know they will also be calling you and greeting you because i also want you to get close to my family so you see guys i've been telling you if a guy truly loves you he is serious with you of course he should introduce you to the most important people in his life when he does that that's a tick in the box because he considers you as part of the family so you see here guys color does not matter what matters is how that guy behaves yes <laughs> but what i've learned from these black african men born and raised abroad most of the times according to my own experience when i interact with them you know behind <laughs> the camera they always tell me bella I was born and raised an example in Sweden, in Switzerland. I behave like a Swedish guy if that guy was born and raised in Sweden. Or I behave like an Italian guy if that guy was born and raised in Italy. That is what they have been telling me. But again, guys, I'm telling you, color does not matter. What matters is the behavior of that guy it is something that you really need to observe no matter he's white or black <laughs> no exception and be like no i'm going to ignore all the red flags because he is white or i'm going to ignore all the red flags i know how black men behaves everything is in control girl don't deceive yourself and I'm here telling you, most of them say that I behave like Swedish, I behave like a French guy, but still observe the red flags, but still observe how he behaves. It's very, very important, dear sisters. So back to the story. I remember that is the time that Zara 
checked me on Instagram and was like, I need your help. <laughs> I told her right here, tell me. So she told me about this Swedish Nigerian guy that they have been dating, but she was like, Bella, I am not sure. Please tell me if he is serious or not i would like to know and i wanted to know a bit of the story more so she told me everything and i kept on guiding her step by step so if you are wondering if ahmed ever asked for nude photos from zara never ever if you wanted to know if ahmed was spoiling Zara in their long distance relationship? The answer is yes. This guy is really, really good. Could take a very good care of her. Could send her money every single month for her upkeep. <laughs> could send her lots of gifts. Was treating her like a queen. And when you hear that Ahmed was sending money to Zara, you'll be like, maybe Zara asked for money. No. Zara tells us never asked him money, but he just wanted to be responsible, be sending her money and gifts. Also, guys, if you remember that collaboration that I did with different men from different countries, Ahmed's voice note was there giving you guys advice. And he insisted, dear sisters, do not ask for money from a guy but he is the same same guy that was sending money to zara because she never asked because when you ask that is when you confuse a guy he starts thinking twice of your real intentions being with him <laughs> and he will ask himself a question that before me how was she surviving that will bring a totally different interpretation about how you behave or how you live so guys because everything was going so good between them they are so much in love <laughs> there is something that zara told me she learned from my channel <laughs> and this is the same same thing that we had from Millie's story if you remember at the birthday surprise to Ron so Zara decided to do same same thing and it was his birthday decided to surprise Ahmed on a video call with a cake sung for him Ahmed was so happy and cried tears of happiness you know when a guy feels like you love him truly you know from your heart and you can go even to the next level to do a surprise for him but guys one thing that i want you to keep in mind is that <laughs> i told you when you are dating a guy study him get to know his point of weakness <laughs> I gave you that homework. I don't know if you worked on it or not. <laughs> Get to hear his past love relationship experience. How was he treated? <laughs> and then you try to make things the right way. You show him that you love him very, very much. And he shouldn't think all women are like the lady that he dated before. A lady who made him live a miserable life yes <laughs> so that's your power girl but it's not that you are trying to compare yourself or compete and show the guy i am better no <laughs> you just need to do the right thing the things that you really feel deep inside your heart don't hold them show them to him because after you showing them to him to give him a clarification that you are the one so guys after that birthday surprise what followed ahmed proposed online on a video call and was like zara will you marry me <laughs> zara was so happy said yes and after that proposal online ahmed sent that engagement ring to nigeria and also talk to Zara about their culture and traditions because remember he was born and raised in Sweden but another thing is that yes they are both Nigerians Ahmed is coming from a different place 
in Nigeria. So tells us their culture and traditions differs. So Zara had to explain everything <laughs> to Ahmed concerning after Ahmed understanding well had to send his people to Zara's place with everything that was required for the bride price and the introduction was done. Zara is so happy and thankful that Ahmed accepted to do everything that was required to pay the bride price, follow every step <laughs> that he was told to follow. So we see everything is good, peaceful, but tells us happened an Afro cinema <laughs> before his people came to Zara's place. So what was that Afro cinema? Let me take you a bit back. So guys, after Zara and Ahmed dating for quite some time and then started talking of, you know, marriage, of course, Zara had to talk to her family. Yes, her mother and her siblings had talked to Ahmed on a video call, you know. When he did the introduction, Zara too did the introduction. But when things got serious, started talking of marriage, Zara had to talk to his uncles that there is this Swedish Nigerian guy that wants to marry me. Do you know what happened? The uncles were like, how did you meet? Zara had to tell them, we met on online dating apps. And that's when the problem started. The uncles never wanted to understand because they did not believe on online dating apps that you can find someone serious <laughs> that will even marry you and treat you good. But I think this is also to what happened to Zara in her first marriage. They are trying to be a bit protective. So Ahmed and Zara worked hand in hand to make the uncles understand that they are really in love with each other and they want to get married. Something that Zara is so grateful to God that brought a man that understood her, a man that stood by her side, even with those problems, her relatives refused. If it was another guy, maybe he could have run away, be like, no, I don't want to enter into a complicated family that is judging me already before knowing me. But because Ahmed is a good guy, sticked with her. And that itself shows that he is mentally mature. A guy that when a problem is presented to you as a couple, you can sit down and solve it. So when you are dating a guy, yes, you should watch the red flags, but also do not ignore those good qualities in that guy. When you see them, those qualities are the one to tell you the guy is the one without even asking Bella. So yes, guys, after working together to convince the uncles to give them the blessings, eventually the uncles agreed and yay! <laughs> they took the bride prize and the wedding preparations started. Zara could update me on everything. I'll keep showing you the messages that we used to chat on Instagram. planning for their wedding and planned for their wedding online. Yes, they could communicate, exchange photos of everything that they want <laughs> for their big day. Even the dress, the shoes, everything, guys. <laughs> All this Zara could let me know. And it's because there was good communication between them. That is why they were able to plan their wedding on a line. So after planning for their wedding, everything was ready. Then it was time for Ahmed to go to Nigeria for their wedding. And yes, he went, arrived. Oh my God. <laughs> she was so, so happy. But Ahmed too was so happy to find this beautiful <laughs> young lady that was going to be his wife. Brought lots of gifts, tells us, brought gifts for her, for her mother 
and her siblings oh my god for the whole family <laughs> this guy is really a good guy not those guys that comes empty handed they want everything you know for free or they want easy things <laughs> i really don't like such kind of guys <laughs> and if i'm in love with a guy like that then he starts showing that he wants easy things he doesn't want to spend oh my god my love starts you know <laughs> going away slowly by slowly but it's not that i am materialistic i told you guys it feels good when a guy takes care of you it feels good when a guy gives you some gifts you know <laughs> and yes guys the big day came i updated you on instagram on my instagram stories that this nigerian couple has wedded their wedding was on 7th april 2023 may god keep protecting your marriage i wish you all the best guys let us wish them all the best in their marriage if you want to know what is their next plan zara is in the process of joining her husband in sweden so that they can live there happily ever after so dear beautiful ladies goodies lovers i know you won't forgive me if i forget to tell you about the goodies <laughs> when did they enjoy the goodies was it when ahmed landed in nigeria <laughs> for the wedding oh it was after their wedding the truth is they enjoyed the goodies after getting married and it went super super good <laughs> they enjoyed it <laughs> i hope now you are happy <laughs> so guys to the big question the name of the dating app where they met they met on muslima i told you guys join muslima especially for my muslim sisters you will find love exist good good men on muslima and something that is important you share same religion but also on muslima you can find a guy who is not a muslim so even you my christian sisters give it a try i've shared success stories about muslima this is our third story from muslima did she pay on muslima no she did not pay like i said was using the free version to chat with ahmed because ahmed had paid on muslima so zara gave you some advice you who are watching my videos you my lovely subscribers <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna be putting her advice here or here so that you can read it yourself even ahmed gave you some advice i'll put it here hi there how are you doing thank you so much for the opportunity to actually you know talk and um just say a few things like you know i'm zara's husband and um yeah so firstly i just want to tell the sisters keep money out of it don't ask for money don't um, make that a priority because that diminishes the seriousness. I mean, I, I, if you are serious in a relationship, don't put money in the forefront. So secondly, I would say, do not put yourself in a position where everything that comes your way, comes your way. So define what you want. Define the limits you want before stepping into relationship because lots of guys are out there who really just want to waste time play with your feelings and just catch fun and stuff. Yeah, there are serious ones out there, but it means you knowing your limits to be able to fish out the ones who would waste your time, you know? And um, yeah, so it's important to also <clears throat> know what you bring into the table as well. So if you know what you can offer, or what your value in any potential relationship is, it helps you set realistic expectations, you know, for what you want and who a potential match, underlying match would be, you know. So, I mean, with these three things, I think it will go a long way in helping our sisters define the scope as they, you know, seek a relationship with the man or potential man of their choice. So I'll just drop this few words right here and um, thank you so much for your input 
and Zara's done it. She told me about it. You take care and I uh, hope to talk to you soon. Bye. Let me hope this love story has inspired you, encouraged you to keep moving, to keep searching for the love of your life. Yes. So if you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this love story and learn something. Watch my other videos too. They are super good. You're going to learn a lot. Comment below what you think about this video. I will appreciate to read your comment. Please, if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Join the family and thank you for subscribing. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.